Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Jacob and in this video I'm going to be redesigning this website, uh, Hey Taco. The last video I did like this got a really great reception from the guys I did it for and they recommended, they recommended me to have a crack at Hey Taco's website, which I'm going to be doing today, uh, which is really exciting. So let's start obviously with a quick breakdown of the site. Let's look through some of the onboarding steps, figure out a few things that we want to do or kind of things that might be in mind and then crack on with the design. So I'm really excited with this one. Let's get straight into reviewing the actual page itself. So you should see my screen now. I'm in Figma. I'm just having a look here. Quite straight, strong header, create strong, happier, more engaged teams. Hey Taco brings people together and helps teams recognize each other, have a little fun and celebrate on Slack and Microsoft Teams. So when I first looked at this page, I actually struggled to really appreciate exactly what was going on. It kind of made sense, but it didn't really click with me straight away. So I think we might be able to portray the products in a better way than it currently is. Um, you know, you come down here, they got some better content descri describing like how it works. Obviously messages, you tag someone, you give them a taco. It kind of makes sense. I love the idea. I think it's a really cool product, but I don't know if this landing page is doing it justice. It's got some really great awards. That's cool to see. They should be higher up. Supercharge engagement, I understand. That's all drop downable. There's some kind of custom vibe with the page where you can kind of adjust or filter those leaderboards. I think bringing some customized reaction with the product and table might be quite a cool play. I'll just see if I can play around with that. So if I do that, I think this is down here like that. Like the give people awards. I feel like these stats should be higher up, you know, impacts, monetary impacts, quite a big thing. If I am, you know, a decision maker uh, with what kind of apps are installed in, in my team Slack, which I actually am for one of my company, for one of my clients. And they've got obviously feed, um, testimonials and then a video. And I'm pretty sure that video would then send them straight into the onboarding flow. Let's see here. Yeah, so this is the onboarding flow as well. I think we could do some work, maybe just that sign up, initial sign up page would be quite cool. Here we go. This is the actual website. If I hit try it free, first name and their credit card. I feel like we could do something better here as well. I might try and do that one. Exciting. I think, um, yeah, I can't wait to get started. I think I've got a few ideas and I think you're aware of where I'm gonna be going with it, but let's jump in and get this in. Okay, that is the design done. Um, I think it's gone well, I hope it has. Um, let's just jump straight into the design, I suppose. Um, I wonder what you guys will think. Okay, 
So let me just talk you through how I envision this working. This is a very quick prototype that's been thrown together. So if you don't like it, that's also fine. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments below. So in my mind, the way I see this going down is this side kind of section of the kind of landing page above the fold will be kind of just a constant flow of messages coming in. Some will have tacos in it and some will not. And the ones that do are kind of highlighted in this like orange background. And the idea is that you essentially see a live feed update of these occurring within this leaderboard, if that makes sense. You kind of get this live reaction. Um, I think that would be a really lovely feature. And I think for some people that would just click for the product straight away a bit better than what they currently have now. Yeah, I think, you know, you don't even make it that complicated just from a front end perspective. If you build it in Next.js, it could be a really easy thing to implement. Um, I think that'd be really, really cool. Um, and obviously you're kind of, you're touching on Slack and Microsoft Teams here. So I think people would initially answer like, hey, this goes into Microsoft and Teams and keeping the messages kind of just brandless. So, you know, I was thinking of maybe bringing like a Slack channel actually in and maybe like being able them to toggle between um, Slack and Microsoft um, Teams to be able to see that what it looks like in both. But actually I thought minimalist, let's just go simplicity and kind of just get kind of like a feed of messages coming in. I think that'd be really cool. We adjusted the footer slightly, um, but obviously the, the uh, header to line left with all this content here and then try for free and watch demo. Um, let's just open up the website again. So, we know, you know, we've got some reference. Yeah, try hacker free, watch demo. I think, yeah, that makes sense. And then as we jump down in, we obviously bring that leaderboard higher up. And as I mentioned before in the start of the video, I've brought those kind of key savings in, those like monetary impact, you know, those monetary kind of impacts that the product can have. Um, and then also you've got kind of those, I think two of the most important awards, obviously, if they think they've gotten a better, a, better, a more important award to showcase, that should be there instead. As we come down, obviously bring those awards quite high up. I think something's not quite, yeah, there you go. Um, and you come down into these features, the way I envision these features going is kind of just, just across constantly, like a carousel type of vibe. I think it'd be really, I would think it would work well. The same with the trusted by thousands of teams. That's something that's a really lovely statement to make. I don't know why that's gone up. This is obviously a quick, a quick theory together. I like the back, you know, the black background brings out, okay, I need to, you know, really makes it pop and bring some attention to it. But you've got the clear call to actions again, and then you have the video with another clear call to action banner and then the new footer. So I think I really simplified the site down. Um, and I also actually played around with um, their kind of sign up page. So if I was to jump to try it for free, you can say they just sent, maybe I'm logged in or not. Maybe they've literally just changed that. I'm not sure if that's that just happened. Um, but I think one thing would be really cool um, would be to have this kind of similar feed effect happening on this page. Again, with the clear awards, maybe, and obviously then the monetary impacts as well while they're signing up. I wonder if that might, may, you know, increase conversions on this page um, and get them actually signing up. And that was actually going to be the other point, which I think they've just already implemented, is maybe even bringing those kind of integrate with Slack, integrate with Microsoft Teams like at the very front. And then you kind of just bring all of that data across from the um, OAuth or APIs, which you'll call, um, to kind of connect Slack and Microsoft Teams. So you don't even need to ask for work email or select, you know, maybe that would work instead. Um, which obviously I think they've just done there. So that, which is obviously good to see. So that pretty much covers it. I, I think it looks better. I think it looks better, but obviously um, I'd be interested to see what Heytaco think about it, you know, as it is their product. Okay guys, I think that covers it. Um, I've got two final quick points to make. The first is I've actually just quickly redesigned my own, my personal website, where I now actually offer a landing page redesign just like this one for a business or a startup. You know, they might have a landing page website that they want a quick 90 minute redesign, um, which they can pay for, which you can see here. Um, so if you are a business owner and you're interested in that, please do hit my website up and book one in. I would really look forward to doing that with you guys. Now, if you know of a business or company that you think I should do this for in my next video in this series, please do let me know in the comments. Um, I do read them, I read every single one, and um, yeah, that's where I got the inspiration for this Hey Taco video. So I look forward to seeing what you guys think I should do next. I uh, really appreciate your, you know, your time watching this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video.